Saturday, April 6th, I was scrolling through uh, Twitter and, well, this person's tweet came up and Freddie Highmore, who is well known as a child movie actor who plays Charlie of the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, is now being blamed for the role that he was put in because he's not autistic and that there should be an autistic person playing as an autistic savant, which is who Dr. Murphy is. A role that is played by Freddie Highmore in the series called The Good Doctor which I only started hearing about the Goot Doctor back in 2021 because I did not know that Freddie Highmore would be playing as someone on TV when I only used to know him in movies. And ever since I've been watching the Good Doctor on ABC, I loved it so much. But Twitter user Joshua Gold, whose Twitter at his voice archivist on Twitter. Seems to not really understand what acting is, but ultimately argues that there should be an accurate representation of an autistic actor played by an autistic doctor. The reason this show and this scene is a perfect example doesn't work is that Freddie Highmore is not autistic. I think autistic characters should be played by autistic people. It comes across as disingenuous otherwise. I have not seen the series, but I do know that this guy played Charlie in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What on earth happened? In the show, he plays an autistic doctor, but the actor isn't autistic, so it just feels fake. Okay, and so what? I'm on the ESD spectrum. Who gives a shit? This is called acting. People who are not quite their characters act towards them all the time. Just because it's an ASD character doesn't mean ASD actors are uniquely qualified. I'm autistic and I respectfully disagree. That's like saying Neil Patrick Harris shouldn't be able to play Barney from How I Met Your Mother because he's gay. It's called acting for a reason, not a documentary. For the record, it's just acting because you're taking on a role and putting on performance. Hiring an autistic actor may make the role more genuine, but genuineness isn't the point of acting. I'm autistic, but I ain't no actor. I couldn't do this kind of performance. If the actor was autistic, then how would this scene change? The direction is still for him to act like that. I say involve autistic people in the writing. And I agree, they should involve autistic people to become the writers of The Good Doctor instead of the non-autistic people. I don't think I agree with that. Acting is portraying someone that you aren't after all. The problem is that a lot of the portrayals of autism are insulting because they aren't good. That's the difference. A good portrayal isn't insulting. No, you shouldn't have to be autistic to play one, but I feel you should be autistic to write one, or at least have an autistic person to consult while writing. Instead of doing that, they consulted Autism and Speaks, which explains why this show's depiction is so awful. Also, he supports Autism Speaks, so he couldn't care less about autistic people. Those who support Autism Speaks are entirely misled by the corporation. Not to mention the videos shown here are from 2018. Like, genuinely, can we stop attacking people for supporting Autism Speaks? Nobody is gonna see or care about a commercial from the early 2000s they made. The show is partnered with Autism Speaks. It doesn't mean he actually knows or agrees with their messaging. I doubt he himself does. And more so, the ignorant showrunners. And I pretty much don't care 
about how bad autism speaks is. Like, yeah, they done some shady shit to misrepresent autistic people, but who cares? I've heard about the Autism Speaks controversy a few years ago on YouTube, but realistically, come on, that organization isn't going anywhere. And talking about Autism Speaks' bad practices doesn't really make everyone aware since all the mormies are not on the internet as much. I would have to respectfully disagree as someone with autism myself, it doesn't always come up to what, what you present, but remember how your brain functions all together. So maybe have some autistic writers or showrunners or just better research overall as to what autism actually is. Well, I don't think you need to be something to act as that something since that's the entire point of acting to be what you're not. I do think it should demand a good understanding of what you're acting as. Talk with autistic people. Try to understand how they feel and how they act. And above all that, get autistic writers as well. I really think this is way more on the writing team and direction than on the actor, especially since at the end of the day, the actor is just following what the writers and director is telling them to do, but we tend to blame actors for these things because that's the face we see on screen. And it's very fucking sad that people tend to do that because they don't technically know what a writer or director does when it comes to casting someone for these roles. And all those people do is they shift the blame without giving a second thought. I don't think so. It's called acting for a reason. You shouldn't need to be exactly the same kind of person as the character you're playing. There are way more factors to consider other than the actor not being autistic, like the writing and direction that make the scene bad. That's literally the opposite way of how the film and TV industry should work. You shouldn't limit a role of someone who is disabled to be played by someone who is disabled. Saying that an actor can't play an autistic character because he's not actually autistic feels unnecessary to mention. You're like saying that an actor can't play a gay character because he's not gay or vice versa. An actor that's not autistic can play a autistic character. Exactly, which is why Freddie Highmore is the type of person who can play an autistic character even though he's straight and non-autistic. I disagree. I think what's most important is good writers and directors that actually understand what they're presenting. A knowledgeable crew is extremely important. His performance doesn't work, not because of his acting but everything else that made this character an insult. I can understand where your concern is at, but you do realize that having the actor not being autistic isn't the only issue here, right? It's also about the writing of the autism portrayal being absolutely terrible alongside the way the actor portrayed autism as well have to disagree here. Autism is a spectrum and you'd be hard pressed to find an autistic actor who'd perfectly match the symptoms of their character. Also, there's no reason a non-autistic actor can't pull it off if they're skilled and have good direction. I mean, you get the point from every tweet that's being made about this because why would anyone want an autistic person to become an actor or an actress to play in part of a movie or TV show? Is it because you want to better represent autistic people? Okay, sure. There's nothing wrong with better representing them. But most autistic people, like this guy here, says that he's not great at hiding his true emotions and would be nervous if he was asked to act autistic and he would probably fail. Most autistic people are probably not going to be able to handle the pressure that they have for timing when it comes to reading a script and filming the scene 
done in time before the airing of the movie or the show itself. And you at least have to do one take or as many takes as it takes to get it done right. And besides, a lot of people think that Freddy is actually doing a great job. Shut up, my man's did a fantastic job in most scenes and a miracle one at the worst scenes. The dude is a good actor and no one could have done a better job. Also, autism is a spectrum. The fact that they went for one of the most extreme cases is a director's choice. Honey, no hate, it's acting. By the way, people with this kind of autism can't be actor. It's explained during the show, the main character can't lie. See the difference between acting and real emotions or faking his feeling? Freddy make a very good job. Don't blame him. The showrunner is most likely to blame because they are in charge of everything from their creative elements to developing the vision of the series, the direction of the story, and character arcs through each season. So that means that the showrunner is most likely to blame for not hiring writers who aren't autistic, which would have been a good thing. And again, I have to say this because there's always going to be people who would always blame the actor and the actress rather than the studio that sometimes hires the showrunner. Also, doesn't Joshua realize that Freddie Highmore won a Golden Globe and a Critics Choice Award for this? Seriously, if you haven't searched the results, because you in particular don't keep up with award shows, then what the fuck are you doing with your life? Because Freddie Highmore has been nominated on the People's Choice Awards for The Good Doctor in 2018. Then Freddie Highmore was nominated for The Good Doctor at the Teen Choice Awards in 2018 as well. And then in 2021, he was nominated for The Good Doctor at the HCA TV Awards. And on the Online Film and Television Association Awards, he was nominated in 2021 for The Good Doctor. So I don't know why you would say that the reason why this show doesn't work when it, it has been nominated at least four times in a row. Ultimately, Hollywood over the years has some problems when it comes to hiring the right people for a role. And some people may have some concerns, respectfully and rightfully so, but only do that if an actor or an actress has never been nominated for a Golden Globe or a Critics' Choice Award. Because Freddie Highmore does not deserve the unnecessary hate for his perfect role as Dr. Sean Murphy on The Good Doctor. He should instead be praised for it. And we as a society shouldn't have to diminish an actor or an actress for his or her work. Instead, we need to, as a society, congratulate Freddie Highmore because it's not necessarily his fault when it is the fault of the showrunner who did not hire autistic writers. So please do better and start knowing what acting actually is. I am a surgeon! I am a surgeon! I am! I am a surgeon! I am a surgeon! Dr. Hahn! I am a surgeon! Thank you.